Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these dark times, these dark days of unrest. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's precious word, the Bible, and turn with me over to the book of Revelation. Now, you'll notice I didn't say Revelations. A lot of people say Revelations, plural, but it's one book. It's the book of the Revelation. If you will, uh, turn over to Revelation uh, chapter number uh, 21. Revelation chapter number 21. And uh, I want us to uh, look at several verses of Scripture. I want us to begin our reading at verse number 3. And we can find great encouragement in what the Scripture says here. Listen to what the Word of God says. Now, this is John speaking, the writer of the book. John says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. Praise the Lord. Now look at verse 4. The Bible says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Friend, that's what I want to talk to you about for just a few moments. All things new. You know, whenever I look at these few verses of Scripture, I truly find encouragement in these Scriptures. There's too many people who really are trying to make this earth their heaven. Friend, if you're a child of God, this world is not your home. I mean, you live here, you work here, uh, you worship here, and God uses you here. Uh, but friend, this world is not your home. Too many times we dwell on the things around us and what is going on, the things that we see, those tangible items that we can touch. And uh, that is just our physicality that does such. You see, we are physical beings. And so we like to touch and to feel and to have tangible items. But friend, what I'm sharing with you today is far more important than those things we can handle and touch and see. Notice the scripture again. John says he hears this great voice, and he tells us where it's coming from. He says it's coming out of heaven. And then he shares with us what the voice says to him. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. I am so thankful that we serve a God who has chosen to be with us. He didn't have to be with us, but he chose, he has chosen to be with us. He's made his tabernacle with men. And listen to what he says. He said, the voice goes on to say, uh, and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. Friend, if you're saved by the grace of God, you're a child of God. You're one of his people, and he knows you by your name. Listen to what it says, and God himself shall be with them. Hallelujah. Boy, it's good to know that God is with us. And listen, it says, and be their God. Now, that's personal there. God wants to be our God. He's personally our God. He loves us that much. And then comes the healing that we're looking for. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. You know, uh, 
sometimes I can watch a touching, thrilling, uh, exciting movie, and then something comes across that just uh, just grabs my heart. I tell people it grabs my heart and squeezes it, and it makes juice run out of my eyes. Friend, don't ever be ashamed to cry. Uh, if God uh, touches you in such a way that tears run out your eyes, rejoice and be glad in that. But there will come a day, my friend, that God will wipe away all tears. All tears will be wiped away. Now, I've shed tears of joy, uh, but all tears are going to be wiped from their eyes. Listen to this. The Bible says there shall be no more death. Praise God. Friend, we live in a land of death. You can't go into a city and not find a city cemetery. You can't go into a little town and not find a, a, a cemetery. Many churches have cemeteries. There are graves everywhere. Uh, you ride up and down the highways of this great land and you see evidence of death. You find dead animals. Uh, vultures or buzzards flying over looking for dead animals that's been hit by cars or, or uh, just death everywhere. Uh, but in that fair land, there'll be no more death. We won't ever have to go to another funeral home. We won't ever have to see our loved ones depart this life because there'll be no more death. The Bible says here, neither will there be any sorrow. No sorrow. And then God reiterates again, nor crying, no more tears, neither shall there be any more pain. I'd just like to place in the, the, this particular scripture here, no more pandemic. No more uh, wearing face masks. Uh, no more having to get vaccines. Uh, no more COVID-19. No more cancer. No more heart disease. And the list could go on and on and on of diseases that's invaded this land. There will be no more pain. For the former things are passed away. And then I like what it closes out with in this next verse. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. What a glorious time and day that it's going to be when we walk into God's heaven. There won't be any uh, elections to argue over because he is the King of kings and Lord of lords and will be throughout all eternity. And one of the things that thrills my soul about that fair city that God is preparing for us, while there'll be no more suffering, sorrow, pain, death, we'll be reunited with those of our family that we loved so much that left us, that's already in his presence. What a day that's going to be. My granny was one of the best cooks that ever lived. First thing I'm going to do when I get to heaven is kneel at the feet of Jesus and thank him for making it all possible. But then I want to see my granny. Granny, will you make me some of those old good biscuits like you used to cook? I want to see my mama, my daddy, my grandparents on both sides. I got favorite aunts and uncles that's there. In fact, I have more people on that side than I do this side. But you see, while that day is coming, that day has not arrived just yet. God has left us here for a purpose, and we need to fulfill that purpose. Preacher, what is that purpose? To tell people about this fair city that they can go to. To tell people about God's heaven to share Christ with others, and to be the light in a dark world. Now, friend, it encourages me when I think about what's waiting on us.
But it also encourages me enough to want to take some with me. Will you go with me to that land where all things are new? Let's pray. Father, thank you for this timely message. That in a season of darkness, we can yet see light and help us live in the light instead of the darkness. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, I pray that this little message may have encouraged you some today. And if you found encouragement in it, let me invite you to share it with others, either by way of sharing this message on your Facebook page or by sharing Christ with your friends and your relatives. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.